Praise the Lord, everyone. We greet you in the precious and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, this is Apostle David Rivera, and I have a word that I just want to release uh, to you. I believe it's a word that God has given me to release to the people of God. It is found in Isaiah chapter 60. I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 6, and then I'll briefly, literally briefly, just uh, give you a synopsis of what I believe God has spoken to me. He says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. Ain't that the truth? But the Lord, the Lord, Adonai Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, the kings to your, the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They gather together, they come to you. Your sons shall come from afar, your daughters sh uh, shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and become radiant. Your heart will swell with joy because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. The multitudes of camels shall cover your land. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah, those of Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense and shall proclaim the praises of the Lord. I'm here to prophesy to you right now. I'm here to declare the word of the Lord to you according to what we just were. There's no sure word, there's no sure prophetic word than the word of the Lord. Number one, God is calling us, he's talking about this darkness and great darkness that's literally covering the face of the earth. And this is Isaiah prophesying many, many years ago. Now, with that being said, it says that in the midst of this darkness, the glory of the Lord shall rise upon you. The glory of the Lord shall rise upon me. In the midst of this glory, God is literally calling for world wide revival. There's going to be revival in the land. There, there's going to be a, a, a surge of people coming back into the kingdom of God because God has allowed this darkness to literally shift the hearts of the children back to the fathers. It's literally going to cause people to turn their way from their wicked ways and return back to the ways of the Lord. I like what it also says. It says that our sons shall come back home. I'm prophesying and decreeing and declaring that every one of our wayward children will return and they will come back to the ways of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You can say amen to that. And also it goes on to say that, that people will be attracted to the glory of God upon our lives. That's why we're going to become, God's going to literally, the anointing is going to be so great upon God's people, is going to cause people to be attracted to the light, to the peace of God. It says, the peace of God that passes all understanding shall guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. David in one occasion said, many of they that trouble me, many of those, they are they that rise up against me. But thou, O Lord, you, O Lord, are a shield to me. You are the glory, are my glory, and the one that lifts up my head. Believe me, God's about to lift up your head and allow people to be attracted to your to the glory of God upon your life. Remember, David said, he put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise unto our God. Many will see fear and put their trust in the Lord. I believe, God, that's going to be your portion also. What is the next thing that he says? It says that the oceans will begin to release its treasures. Remember when Peter went fishing? 
fishing. I'm sorry I'm talking a mile a minute, but I want to be sensitive to time. Remember when Peter went fishing? Jesus said, listen, just cast your net, just, 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 just cast your, 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 your hook into the, into the sea. And the first thing that comes out of the ocean, you're going to find the exact amount of monies that we need in order to pay for our taxes. There are millions and billions and trillions of dollars buried in our ocean. God's going to begin to be, begin to release resources. Remember, it says that the camels will be coming. Camels represent resources. God's going to begin to anoint you in order to make you, he's going to place you at the right place at the right time in order for their, for, for the kings and the priests, for the kings and the people. Remember the rich, the righteous, the riches of the wicked are going to be restored back to the righteous. Why? Because the righteous will know how to distribute the finances properly. I'm here to prophesy, to tell you today, the best days are yet ahead of us. This, this Someone told me, I, I got a call from Nigeria today, and it says, oh, this, 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 there's light at the end of the tunnel. I says, no, honey, there's not light at the end of the tunnel. There is light in the midst of the tunnel. There is light in the midst of the tunnel and situation that you're going to. I pray that the Spirit of God will quicken his word to your spirit man that, that 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 you would be activated in such a way that you would be anointed in such a way to hear what the Lord is saying again I bless you in the name that's above every name and I give God the praise for this opportunity and I'm looking forward to meeting you soon God bless you